the creepy music. Stuff it already. with the damn lights, for fluff's sake. So it's Halloween, the time of the year where you have to be really careful where you walk and where there's murder or stalking everywhere. What do you do about that if you have a sword? Just so happen to have one, because you never know, right? Um, well, if you're actually facing Jason, well, say undead Jason, then forget about it. He's, he's way above, so there's not too much you can do. But let's assume he's living Jason or ghost face or you know something that's still human but probably overpowered so if he has a machete uh, what can i do what weapon would i want to use well ideally something larger because he has a strength advantage and what i definitely do not want to do if he comes at me and stri tries to strike me with a machete i don't just want to do a static block because chances are he'll probably hit you know, strike me right through with all his you know epic horror movie villain strength so i would want to do a deflectional parry so if he tries to hack at me i'm just going to step over here where i'm safe let this slide off and cut him be somewhere else because slashers usually don't have the most agility you know tend to lumber about and all that so he's probably going to go for a fairly slow swing so i just want to be out of the way, cut, and then you know what? Ideally, run for it. <laughs> now, another thing that slashers like to do is try to grab you. So they walk toward you with outstretched arm and try to grab you and slash you. Of course, you, you don't want to be here. So if that happens, goes toward me, I'm just going to keep stepping back and cutting his arm or, you know, just keep distance between myself and him and just use my footwork because he's not going to be great at that. And definitely not a thrust, because guess what's going to happen if I try to use a thrust against him? He comes toward me, wants to attack me. I run him through, I still die. He's not going to care about that. I mean, even the regular slashers, they're not supposed to be superhuman. They're normally not stopped by much. It takes a lot to take them down. And of course, you never want to get into grappling distance in general with them. They're way too big and strong and they're just going to crush you. So if he comes toward me and I don't have anything with the sword, I, just, I need to step sideways because it's going to take him longer to turn, to stop and turn than it does for me to do sideways movements. So if he comes toward me and he wants to strike me, this is going to be a good thing to do because his strength is not going to really going to help him if I deflect it and move the attack in a different direction. You can see, so boom, what I'm doing is I'm coming up with a false edge cut against the flat of his blade. So his, his arc of swing comes this way. I want to nudge it so it goes over in the opposite direction. So it misses me. So do that again, boom. 
and then I can come back for a cut. Another potential option is, this is a bit riskier, believe it or not, shield in this case seems kind of risky, but it could work if, if I catch his machete on the rim of my shield. This is going to hack into the shield and be stuck there. So then I have a chance to either counter or if I just want an opportunity to get away, just leave him with the shield with it stuck in there and just run away. Now, of course, um, for that, you would have to keep the shield pretty far in front of you because you don't want it to just accidentally go in there and cleave you in the head anyway. So you have to be prepared that this is most likely going to split it most of the way. In fact, it might even only be stopped by the steel boss because, I mean, super powerful slasher, right? What about the chainsaw, though? Oh, that's a scary thing to face. Uh, is it that dangerous? It is, of course, dangerous, but it's as a weapon, it's not fantastic because it's rather bulky and heavy. Uh, it's loud, so you'll hear them coming in advance. This happens to be an electric, so not quite as loud, but still. Now, the important thing with this is you don't want to be anywhere near it, obviously. So if he tries to saw me, comes toward me, I need to really get out of there and move laterally to make sure that I'm, I get away from that saw. Now, what I could potentially do, and in fact, I might be able to try this in a future video if I get like an, an old broken chainsaw that I don't mind ruining even more. I think if you strike the side of it, the side of the bar, you have probably have a chance to knock the chain off. And that of course would render it completely useless. Plus, if you hit the bar with the sword, it's not going to damage it because then it's not going to cut into the blade. You just get out of the way and try to strike the, the blade from the side. Keep moving, keep moving. Boom, that sort of thing. That's probably your best bet. Um, well, the most difficult part is going to be stay calm as he comes at you like that. And again, best choice is just get out of there. Now, if you happen to be an attractive female in a horror movie, which I'm sure there's plenty of on my channel, make sure that you're prepared. If you're wearing high heels, basically you have two options. Either you ditch them and run properly, or you face the killer and try to die with as much dignity as you can because otherwise you're going to trip and fall and end up just like all the other female characters in horror movies. Well, not the main ones. Anyway, hope you found this amusing and uh, maybe somewhat informative. You never know when a killer might chase you. So uh, happy Halloween. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks. I'm gonna try not to run too fast, but still make it look like I'm running properly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. Turn, turn, turn. Make sure you have a brain fart. <laughs> Always brain fart. <laughs>